it tends to be that the skew masculine. Gender is a construct. You know that, right? Okay, but talking so about are biological kids, sex. Kids, kids are also a construct. So <laughs> they skew. Um, Masculine. It's they do skew masculine. I appreciate it when I see kiddish clubs that are uh, more gender agnostic. Really? Well, that's um, good. I think that that's. I think that that shows a progressive nature that says we're not here just trying to be bros and trying to get away from you know society. We want to be in a masculine space for men to drink manly men drinks. You know, there are plenty of women that like bourbon, that like whiskey, um, that are welcome. Um, you know, we're. You know, that means that that either the women actively want to talk about football, if that's what's going on at Kiddish Club, or the, the, the discussion at Kiddish Club is not just about things that are stereotypically male. Um, and I think that that's, uh, I, I, act, I think that's appropriate. I think that the, the self-professed feminists in any given community that has a Kiddish Club should be arguing to say, we want to be here too. We have the right to ignore God for 15 minutes. Not necessarily you're ignoring God. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I, I would almost argue that it's a very important, I, I could go either way on all of these things. I, I could argue that it's a very important connection, more of a horizontal than necessarily a vertical connection. You know, it, instead of necessarily- yeah, yeah, For sure. Yeah. Creating space in the community for everybody to say that, right. you know. It's an, act of, it's, a, it's an act of creating a micro community, a little mini sure. community, which is, sort of what's going on writ large on a, in a shul on Shabbat, yeah. which is a creation of community, and this is a micro-community, yeah. right? Absolutely. Um, on the other hand, there is something to be said for specifically delineating, delineating men's spaces, even if it's de facto and not expressed. Yeah, but I, 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 I guess I'll push back and I'll say sure. um, men's spaces, just like women's spaces, are important, but over things that are stereotypically male and that are very bro-y, Right, we are kiddish clubs that are male only, that are deliberately like Dafka. No, 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 women aren't here. We don't want women. Right, those are unhealthy spaces. Right, mm -hmm. if somebody goes and says, you know, we want a men's space, we want a space for men to be able to discuss stuff, you know, that are concerned to men. Right, that's fine. But as soon as you bring it as like, well, we're doing it so we can leave show and we can drink whiskey and talk about football. Right, those health, those spaces are not healthy anymore. Mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah. That's my. I guess, uh, I guess part of it is how much of these are, uh, uh, you know, sort of forming. How much do they form organically, and they just happen to be men's only spaces versus those in which that they are explicitly created as men's spaces explicitly. Yeah, so I think that those things will very much form organically, but yeah. that doesn't mean that they are healthy, right? People organically form into racists. Right, that doesn't mean that there are healthy <laughs> attitudes. Well, it's just how I grew up. My parents were like this, and that's how I became. And I'm like, that's not a healthy response to what you're doing, right? Yeah. All right, I had to mention the gender thing. I mean, no, no, it's important. I think it's interesting, and I've been in places where Kiddush clubs have women. They are usually the minority, but uh, and and I have to say that the Kiddush clubs that are like deliberately like masculine and where they're constructed in that way. Um, feel unhealthy. They don't feel as pleasant to be in mm -hmm. as a result of that. Uh -huh. Interesting. 